all right you guys welcome back to another better breeding diary episode this is episode two of my koi pukat spawn the babies have hatched today and i will show you them very very soon this is a thursday they were spawned on tuesday so what i have to do right now since they just hatched i want to go ahead and have the brine shrimp up and ready to go for them when it becomes that time so i'm about to do that right now it's still like left from the other spawn then i will show you the babies okay everybody so the babies the brand new koi pukat babies are now a couple of days old and the tank is looking ratchet like it is getting a lot of algae definitely needs to be cleaned soon so i can't wait till they're two weeks old even though they're nowhere near yet to start bottom to stop cleaning it, which I mean, I know that it's fine, that it's there. It has a lot of good nutrients in it. You can see a lot of the infusoria swimming around. It's gonna be extremely hard to see the babies right now though, at this stage. That's what I say a lot of the time, that it's just gonna be hard, but I'm going to try to get some in view for you guys. And I definitely, I really do have no idea how many there are. All right, you can kind of see one, two right there. Um, like I said, I am not for sure how many there are. I feel like I've, oh, there's three right there. I feel like I've counted around eight at the most right now, but that's just because they're so tiny. But that's because they are so tiny and so hard to see. Like see, my camera is having a really hard time focusing on them. So I do apologize for that. I promise if you guys will just stick around if you're new, it does get better. But oh, good footage right here of the baby bettas. Let's see. Just got blurry again, but okay, there we go. See, there are two of the baby bettas and they are literally so tiny and it's about time for their food. They have just now started eating live baby brine shrimp, which if you've been watching me for long enough now, you know that is a staple meal and baby bettas like lives that's what they have to start out eating baby bettas are meant to hunt that's their natural instinct they cannot be fed just like at this age non-living food they have to be fed so that they can hunt and that is living food so no not even frozen food that was once alive literal living food that's swimming around so about to give them a baby brine shrimp meal but i just wanted to show you it's a couple of days and they're already starting to be able to obviously swim like they should horizontally they're getting little bellies that will glow orange soon with the food and are overall looking really really good with their progress so here they are so far of course two are in view especially this one over here closer to the right let's see yeah, I think that's about as clear as I can get it, and now it's going a little bit um, blurry. But with that being said, there will be plenty of more time to see these guys in the future because they have a lot, a lot of growing up to do. You can even see, well, you could almost see a speck from of one from back here, but right there. But anyway, now let's go ahead and feed the little babies. Let me go and actually get the turkey baster so that we can feed them. Okay, so now we are going to go down here to the bottom, get some in, like so. And I'm not gonna put it all in there, but I'm just going to focus it here back there and back there. Well, actually, I'm gonna put all of it in because it'll be good for them to snack on all through the night and not to mention in the daytime tomorrow before I feed them again. And once again, if you have been a viewer of my channel for a long time too, you would know that baby bettas have to be fed two to three times a day, every day. If you are wanting to breed baby bettas, but you do not have time to feed them that many times a day, then you probably should definitely not breed them because they have to have that vital nutrients. It's very important. So anyway, I just gave them the food. And here are some in the back. I don't know if it'll pick up. So sorry once again, you guys. Oh my gosh, here's one. Right in the middle, almost close to the 
front here. Let me see if I can pick up on it. Okay, the baby is right there. Can you see it? Let me try to like zoom in now that I finally got focus. Okay, I think it went away. Of course, that's just my luck. I'm so sorry. I've apologized already a million times in this, but I am. Let's see, there's one fish right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! Well, I was just afraid I knocked over the whole daggum thing. And here I am just talking to myself as well. Awesome one, Anna. But anyway, let me count again. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven that I see at once right now. Let's see, here's a couple over here by the plant. Yeah. So as you can see, there's a few specks, such as right there and right up there. What if you hanging out over there? But yeah, I'm about to go because you guys are like at least from this clip that is because you guys are probably so tired of just seeing a bunch of blurriness and probably not even being able to see the bettas, which I truly apologize for. Once again, it will get better as they get a tad bit older, which will be literally in the coming days and then it'll just keep getting better from there. But yeah, I will see you guys sometime soon for the next clip. Hey guys, this is another Betta Baby update. You guys can already see them so much better and it's just been a few days, but now the babies are going on two whole weeks old. So what I'm gonna do since there's a lot congregating back here in the middle is I'm just gonna zoom in on them and get to where we can get them focused. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, there are quite a few babies back there. Oh my gosh, come on and stay focused. I'm telling you, it is hard to focus on little baby bettas. My camera just does not wanna do it. There we go. So as you can see, they have already taken the form of a fish now. So, I mean, they don't look like betta fish per se, but obviously, it is a big improvement from how they were on like day one day two and all that stuff they are starting to fill out now they have a really good shape and body and all that so they're starting to look like little tiny fish like do we know what type of fish they really look like no but they are starting to look like little fish and if you see the orange you may not know this if you're not an avid subscriber of my channel which if you're not definitely subscribe but the orange that you see is the food in their stomach so it's the baby barn shrimp that they have eaten so that's really really cool and other than that something that i've really noticed with these guys is that some of them are more translucent so clear and see-through some are appearing dark and some are appearing more brownish so far so that has nothing to do with their colors of what they're going to be when they're adults but it is very interesting just to see how they're already differentiating from each other. There's already some differentiation, I guess is the word I should use. I'm just trying to get it to focus. I did do some spot cleaning the other night. I need to do more. At two weeks, that's when we start actually doing the water changes. So two weeks, we start the water changes. There's of course not that much water at all. The line is like right there. We'll actually fill the tank pretty much up at the two-week mark, too. But, yeah, I mean, I say it all the time, but breeding tanks are mostly bare-bottomed tanks. So, of course, algae is going to grow. All these spots you're seeing algae. Stuff on the bottom, you're seeing algae. You're seeing, you know, leftover food, etc. And that's just how it is. And the reason why they're bare-bottomed, because it's a lot easier to see everything. Um, and the dad when the eggs are dropped it's easier for him to go find them and bring them back up so it's just a normal like kind of a thing so yeah i know it's not like the coolest but when they get older we will definitely add some stuff in the tank but i am really proud of their progression i really love the different color changes in them so far like how they're just i don't know they're just progressing really nicely and i really enjoy what oh, oh, look at that one he's like looking straight at the camera do you see it's the left right there and that one we're getting a really good view so yeah they are super tiny little specks but one thing 
I will say is, is it is actually time to go ahead and feed them. And I have had some new baby barn shrimp going, so we need to get them. Also, right here, since those two are right by each other, do you see how the one swimming away is way more clear and translucent, where this one looks more yellowy, orangey colored? Which I think is really cool. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and feed them now. So let me go get the turkey baster and we will feed these little guys and watch them eat for a few. Okay, and then here we are again. Got to dip it down in there. Get some up. And I'm going to just put it through, honestly, the top of this hole here. And let it just drip out like so. And then now, let's see. See, there should be a lot in there now. But yeah, I say this a lot and it is very true. I do want to just give the little FYI that um, that if you do decide to breed, the babies do have to eat live food for the first so long, like after they're born, because it is their natural instinct to hunt. So if they cannot hunt like a living thing that is swimming around, then they're not going to eat it for the most part at all so i mean a lot of there's i mean a lot of theories about how they can eat a hard-boiled egg that kind of thing but really their instinct is to hunt and even the people who do the hard-boiled egg they also mix the live so it's just it's just taking precaution and feeding them something that you know they'll eat and that is healthy for them because like all petals are different all spawns are different so if one eats one thing doesn't mean the other will eat it so you need to just go with what is best and what they're going to eat the most but with that being said here's a little guy over here i think eating if you can see him now eating every time he like jabs it that's the only way i know how to describe it like jabs or goes after something like fasty like that that means he's eating of course you see all the little things jumping around or baby brown shrimp he or she i would like to note that if you're not used to my channel then you probably know or not know babies do not have genders yet so they will not for a while but a lot of times i just say he or she and i just it's just a i don't know natural reaction oh my gosh i just caught that one yawning on camera i hope that you guys saw that also notice the big orange belly that is all the food that this baby has just consumed Plus, you got to see it yawn, and yeah, so that is adorable. I love when they yawn. It's precious, and it's just like a reminder of how, I don't know, other things, fish can yawn. <laughs> Let's see, here's some more over here. We'll take a look at, see, one's darker than the other, the taller one, or the taller one, the one at the top. All right, you guys, and truly, I think that's a really good place to go ahead and end this beta breeding diary episode because I feel like we got to see the babies really, really good in this, which I'm thankful for. They really showed up on my camera this time, which, like I've said, it's really hard to get them to do that all the time when they're little because the camera doesn't want to focus on how, like, small they are, but... I think we got to see a lot of good stuff today, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you're excited about this new koi spawn. I know I am. I'm ready to see what they're gonna look like, like right now. I'm so excited. But yeah, I wanna thank my patrons as always. Jeremy, Maddie, Davis, Mercy, Janae, Casey, Natalie, Vicky, Jessica, Mel, Steven. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being a patron. If you wanna be a patron, the link will be in the description box down below. And other than that, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel come join the family we're almost at 10,000 subs which would mean so much to me to hit I am so excited for that so make sure to hit my face right up there to subscribe and click right over here to watch another video and it would mean a lot to me if you would come join the family and other than that I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video